visibility is a bit iffy. Well, you know what's going to happen here, don't you? Don't <laughs> buy them online. <laughs> Come to somewhere like Helmet City. Right then, I better lead the way if I know where I'm yeah. going. Yeah, that's where they do all that slave labour stuff, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> Today we're off to Helmet City in Somerset, and we are heading out to the one near Trust, between sort of Cheddar and Wells, uh, really. So we're going to take a little trip up through um, Cheddar Gorge and um, stop off at Helmet Sea, see what they have to offer, and go from there. Uh, just on my way to uh, meet up with Nick. Yeah, my camera's my camera's flashing in it. Yeah, that's right. Right then, I better lead the way if I know where I'm yeah, going. Yeah, if you've got the map. Let's carry on up there, I think. Yeah, mind the big puddle on the way out. No, I've got to go left. We're going left? Well, I've got any choice. Oh, oh yeah. Why am I steaming up? I've got a pin lock on. All the way round, Governor? Yeah. Travelling through, through Wells? Not Wales. Not Welsh Wales, Somerset Wales. Somerset Wales. No, Somerset Wells. Somerset as Wells. As opposed to Somerset Wales. Oh, do I have to follow the rules? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I probably do. Yeah. I won't, I'll just come up next to you then. Oh, it's all steaming up and... Oh, it's a mess. We'll be turning right at the end into the mist. Yeah, but we're going to Ebor Gorge, aren't we? Yeah, I, I, I say I've never never done the gorge up that way. It's a lesser known gorge. We've got to hang a left up here. This is all a, a voyage of discovery today. Not least because I can't see through my... Actually, it's a good job we're going to a, a helmet shop. I might be able to pick up a pin lock insert for my helmet. Who, who knew? Well, I didn't know I needed one until just now and it's just ridiculous. Why don't they make visors that are that don't steam up because when I had a shark helmet the visor on that was really thick the, you know, the, the polycarbonate visor yeah. was a really thick material and I never had an insert in it and it never fogged up yeah. oh. and then all of these this one, this one's a K-Berg K-Borg it's a really thin visor and it's just rubbish like this one, I've got the shark on um, shark, I don't know what model shark but it's shark the darker visor doesn't I didn't have the pin lock fitted throughout the summer and that yeah. was okay. I didn't I didn't once miss the pin lock, but then I don't suppose you're steaming up. No, it's alright in the summer. It doesn't seem to be a problem. It's when you get to this sort of weather where it's a bit damp and a bit yeah, cooler. But is, but is that why they don't you know, because again, because of a global audience like bikes, isn't it? They don't fit heated grips as standard because most countries aren't like the UK, they don't freeze their balls off, so you know, heated grips aren't really essential for most of the countries. Yeah, true. Right. Hang on. Oh, the road goes that way, sorry. I, I didn't know where the road went then. Neither did I. <laughs> I was like, do we go left or right? I, I, got, I need a window wiper on well, I really, I need to get a pin lock insert for this visor, it's ridiculous. Find the uh, manhole cover. They're strategically placed in the middle of the corner. Yeah, it's, 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 it's got to be done, hasn't it? it seems to be a... <laughs> it's like, oh, where, where could we put this for, for uh, maximum impact? Yeah. I know what, let's put it right in the middle of the corner. The thing is, I know they sort of, if, it, if you sort of get a slide going on, you know that it's going to end when you get the grip the other side, but... Well, you do, but it's still... Yeah, um... <laughs> it doesn't... So it doesn't inspire confidence, does it? Still a squelchy bum moment, that's for sure. Wookie We're hole. near Wookie. Oh, Wookie Hole. There's Wookie Hole. Well, there you go. Where you find caves that, and witches. That doesn't look open, though. Well, probably not. Oh, no. Well, we're not going there, so that's all right. Okay, I want to... out for the police. Oh, there they are. Dip, dip. Caution, kids crossing. Hello. Hello, Oscar. Whose idea was it to come out today anyway? Yours. I don't know. Well, the weather looked like it was going to be fine, and it was fine at home. I think when we're coming out, we don't just look at where the weather is at home. We look at where I'm going to pull in here because there's a van coming down. Okay. Yeah, I did I did do a little search on... I did check the BBC Weather right. app and said, what's it like in Cheddar? Okay, and it went... Mm. And, it, and it said, it's fine, come so, along. It's fine. Come oh, on over. Nice, nice bit of gravel in the middle of the road. Of course. 
So yeah. I, think th I think this is Ebble Gorge. This is the road up Ebble Gorge. This is it. This is what it's all about. Yeah, I, I remember cycling up here once. In the rain, like this? No, it was a glorious day, if I remember rightly. I hasten to add, this is this is the first time my my bike has got wet since I purchased yeah, well, it's it. Yeah, it's been christened. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. I'm going to have to go home and wash it now. Well, the, um, this gorge isn't quite as impressive as Cheddar Gorge, is it? Well, there's, 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 I'm not seeing much of a gorge. It's just a road. Yeah. I, I thought the whole point of a gorge was... You know, I well, I, I couldn't remember. I just got excited by the fact it was called a gorge. <laughs> Yeah, because you would expect there to be like high sides carving your way through a little bit of a, yeah. a mountain crease. Oh well. But it, to be honest, it's so when you I look don't... over to your left, it's so foggy. And, I was going to say, would wet. it make <laughs> would it make a lot of difference today? Yeah, the view would have probably been quite quite nice. It's getting but... mistier up here. <laughs> so going into the but end. I'm not sure if it's my visor or the mist. Oh, it's the it's uh, both. It's both. Uh, I need to lift my visor because I can't see. Fair enough. I think we're just in cloud, aren't we? I think we're just. This is just a cloud full of rain, yeah. It's, and it's, it's. And it's. Yeah, it just makes it unpleasant. Hello! Oh, she looked happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it was anything you'd done. Do, do you think she, she looked at the, um, the BBC weather app this morning and thought yeah. it was alright? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. So at some point we need to go left. Oh, is this a junction? Is this. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is a junction. Lots Cheddar, six and a half. There you go. Oh, well, this is lovely. If, if we could see it. We're not going to see much of Cheddar. Well, well with a bit of luck, there won't be so much mist at the bottom. Get a bike, they said. Get out and ride, they said. Yeah, enjoy the countryside. See the views. <laughs> oh, glory. Oh, a corner. Yay. Oh, a junction. Oh, Christ, corner, junction. It looks clear. Yeah. When you say it looks clear. Well, I couldn't see anything. Literally couldn't see anything. Here, here we see the lovely Somerset countryside again. You know, yep. As we head down into Cheddar on this beautiful November. Lovely wide vistas. Yeah. I'm not sure it was aesthetic enough to sort of warrant doing that again. Well, at least we've provided a service. So if you're, if you're near Cheddar Gorge and you see Ebble Gorge and think, well, that must be worth a visit, it isn't. This is it now. We're getting into the into the, the real the real thick of it now. This is Cheddar Gorge proper soon, isn't it? Maybe this could be a theme for a you know for a, for our channel. It could be beautiful views you cannot see. Yeah, yeah. Wet day riders. Yeah. <laughs> We go out on the worst days to show you what it's like. Yeah, for all the lightweights that go out on. Yeah, it's easy. I mean, any, any fool can go out on a glorious sunny day, can't they? Yeah, only, a, only serious, <laughs> serious people go <laughs> out on the wet. Only serious idiots go out on a day like this. I reckon it'll be bone dry at the bottom. You reckon? Yeah, yeah. I think that's wishful thinking. Okay. Well, you know what, though? I've got... It's My visor is not steaming up. Do you know why that is? Because I've got a pin lock. You've got a pin lock. I hope they sell pin locks, that's all I can say. <laughs> I bet it's 35 quid though. At least, I reckon. 35, oh, 40 quid. Ridiculous. How can you justify that sort of money for a bit of flimsy plastic? I, yeah, I don't get what the, t you know, like, you can go to Primark and I could buy a, uh, it's not a good comparison, but it's a comparison. I can go to Primark and buy a whole, like, Disney pyjama set, which, <laughs> You yeah, know, but how's that going to keep your visor from it's not, not like I said, it's not a good comparison. I just said I could go into Primark and buy that for like a couple, <laughs> couple of quid. And, and uh, you know, a pinlock, which is a piece of plastic with a rubber seal around it, uh, is crazy money. Are you partial to a Disney pyjama set? Uh, I, I'm only saying it because I was happened to be there the other I don't normally go in Prim not Primark. Yeah, is it Primark? I don't know. I don't. I don't generally go looking for Disney pajama sets, so I don't know which shop you went into. <laughs> oh, I do love a good a good Star Wars pajama. Well, it's good. probably Primark because they do all the licensed stuff. Yeah, it's all the well, that's where they do all that slave labour stuff, isn't it? So. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> They're that's a respectable a... retailer. Just because they could do stuff cheap doesn't mean to say it's all like <laughs> slave labour. Oh yeah, I could neither confirm nor deny those rumours. Obviously, that's uh... right. Here it is. Cheddar Gorge. Oh, this is Cheddar Gorge, look. 
in, in cloudy, misty amazing. stuff. Amazing. It's just amazing. It's one of the seven wonders of... <laughs> seven uh, wonders seven of wonders of Somerset. Cheddar. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, yeah, of Somerset. I, I, I've got to be honest, I, I, <laughs> I've seen it on better days. <laughs> it's not the Grand Canyon, is it? No, it's definitely not the Grand Canyon. It's more, it's more like Niagara Falls, on it? <laughs> well, at least, you know, it's quieter than it is usually. Yeah. Normally there's people everywhere, so I suppose that's a bonus. Look at that. Oh, you can't even see the top. <clears throat> They've tidied all this up. Sorry? I think they've tidied that up, haven't they? Was it? it wasn't, yeah, they it put those um, under lockdown for some reason. They put all those. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't tarmac, was it, before? Yeah. Was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so. <coughs> but the only thing they changed, I've noticed, is they put those big stone, oh, the stone cages there to stop. I don't stop, know what to stop. To I stop think it's what? to stop um, um, the young lads come up here drifting their cars. And, oh, uh, right, okay. So it makes it harder because it's no longer a big area to... Oh, it just puts in a bit of a chicane for them. So hopefully at the bottom of the uh, the gorge, the, right. the cafe here on the left is is closed and they're no longer operating. So, the, so where was the cafe then? Up right? top. Yeah, up top there on the left. Up, oh right, so that was Costa, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a Costa or something, but they went during lockdown. Right. But down here on the... Um, not this bit, but the next bit, we can sit inside. Yeah, on the. <laughs> it all looks very derelict, right? Yeah, here, doesn't it? I mean, that, presumably that was a hotel at one point. Yeah, go here. here, go here, yeah, and then turn left down to the coffee sign, where it says MC, MC Hammer. Oh yeah, MC Hammer. <laughs> We are the MCs. That's what I mean, as soon as a bit of rain, it gets all stinky stink. What have you done? I'm soaking. You look, look a bit oh. damp. Yeah, this is. Why are you wearing a hoodie over everything else? Because I was going for some branding along there. Right. A bit of triumph. What, we're not getting sponsored to wear that? Well, you never know, you never know. What, you're just doing it on the off chance that yeah, they the see you chance. and think, yeah. I'll tell you what, he looks yeah. cool in our gear. Yeah. Let's but give him I, some money. I may have actually made a mistake though, because look, hang on. Look. That's, that's, that's quite damp, isn't it? Have you got a jacket on underneath? Yeah, I've underneath. got a jacket underneath. But the trouble is now I can't wear this underneath because it's wet. I've just got to accept it. Yeah, okay. Well, I didn't know we were going to get wet today. No? So I blame you entirely. All right. <laughs> Are you still wet? I'm still wet. Yeah, I'm All right. very, I'm very damn. Right then, let's uh, let's go look at some helmets. So I can't remember which way we're going. Is it yeah. round? Yeah, keep going until there's a roundabout. Go straight across into the village of Cheddar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's brightened up a little bit. It has. It's still very wet, but under you know under tyres, but. Under tyres, is that a phrase? I don't know, a bit wet under the tyre. It's a bit wet under tyre, a bit like underfoot. Underfoot, well, it, I've not it's heard bit, that phrase before. No, I just made it up. Yeah. It's wet under tyre. Wet under tyre. Yeah. There it's you not, go. It's not wrong, it is, a, it is a, a statement of fact. Well, you understood me. Yeah. Right, onwards to Helmet City. Yeah. Pinlock World. Oily patches on this road. Yes. Same guy is just basically leaking diesel or whatever it is all the way. It's little blobs of it. Yeah. Yeah, he's, wherever he's going to get to, he's not going to have any oil when he gets there. Helmet City, Somerset, there you go. There's a sign. Yeah, Helmet City. And a Covid testing centre as well. I don't want to go. Oh, actually, it does say I could drop in and get my. Uh, my, my, my Top Where up. am I going? Uh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, yeah, Let, got it. Let's head to that sign that says Helmet City. Yeah, yeah, okay, I saw that, yeah. I was one. just 
I was just testing you. Yeah. Well, go down, turn around and come back up and then just park by the benches, I suppose. Okay. There's parking here, but it's a bit gravelly. Yeah, I'm not going on that. Oh, that's interesting, you chose to go that way. I'd have always gone left to right somehow. Yeah, I always go, I always go this way. Oh, very continental of you. Yeah. It's, uh, that's uh, quite nice, actually. I quite enjoyed that. Did you, did, was that different? Yeah, so... I'm just going to stick it on the end here. Just, just, oh, I suppose that, that, that would work, wouldn't it? And the guy's looking at us thinking, why are they parking there? Is that's not where you park? He's got a dog box on the back of his bike. Oh, yeah. Little chihuahua. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, it's not a German Shepherd, is it? <laughs> it's the impressive German Shepherd I get out of the back of it. Helmet City Somerset. Motorcycle helmets, clothing and accessories. Call us on 01934 <laughs> 744 460. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's hey there. Oh, next door. Literally next door is Cheddar Ales. The tap room and shop is open Monday to Thursday, two till four. What time is it? <laughs> uh, I don't know, actually. What is the time? Uh, it's one o'clock. Oh, OK. Probably not a good idea. No. But it's nice to know, though. I didn't know they were here. I knew there was a Cheddar Ales, but I didn't know where they were. And the Cheddar Chocolate Company. What's the matter? My bike is not happy with me. Why? Well, because it's got wet. You can tell she's a, she's a little oh, bit. Oh, she's a little garage she's princess or queen. What do they call her? I don't know. A garage queen, is it? Is it a garage queen? I don't mind, obviously. I, Showroom, I don't know. But but it's just that it's got just... a little mucky look. Look, look at that. that. Look, there's like, that's mud and stuff. I'm going to have to give her some some very gentle, loving layer. And okay, all right. Not, Again, not, you not, know what happened last time. Yeah, that's right. You ended up in hospital yeah, last time. Yeah, I broke the exhaust. Yeah. You need to wait for the exhaust to come down. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's, let's move on from that. That's for the dog, isn't it? Yeah. Bark off, dogs on board. That's really good. Cool. That's really cool. It's got, it's got a helmet in there at the moment. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> the dog's in the helmet. See, this bike doesn't look like it's been out in the rain. It doesn't look like it keeps it undercover, that's why. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. been here now then? Uh, just over four years. Right, by me. Yeah. Yeah, because I never knew. I, I, I keep riding past it. I didn't, I didn't even know it was here for a while. And then there was that charity, there was a charity ride out. Um, that, that really big one was a couple of months back. And like I, a few actually. Yeah, I, I joined in on that and then basically. There have been hundreds of bikes turned up. Yeah, yeah. And I suddenly thought, oh, there's a helmet city here. It doesn't well, matter if fun. you walk in and you're not buying it, you're just out for a blast. Kettle's always Yeah, coffee. There you go, you heard well, it, yeah. I do love a coffee, Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This is the bike outside with the, um, the dog yeah. basket on the back. It's a customer's bike that we... I've just put um, crash bars and Denali lights oh, okay. on yeah, for okay. him. So he, he's dropped it off and we just do it. And then uh, he'll come back and pick it up again. So what sort of little dogs he got to go in the back? Chihuahuas. You said chihuahuas. I thought German Shepherds. Yeah, you wanted German Shepherds. Nah, I have German Shepherds, but... you're not going to get them in that box, I'm not going to get them on the back of my bike. Surprised if you've been by a lot that you haven't seen the little motorbike sign out on the road before. So it today. Yeah, we yes. did. Well, it, Next we to the road works. The <laughs> when you're looking for it, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So one of, the, one of the things riding up here was that I I seen that happened to the pin lock in my helmet. Yeah. And uh, I've taken it out. And in the summer it's fine, but at this time of the year, obviously, it all starts to fog up. Um, what your I, pin lock does? No, I've taken the pin lock out. Oh right, no. Um, no, no, no. No, because I've got a helmet. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but the um, well, I used to have a, one of the first helmets I had was a shark. Yeah, and it had a full coating. And it had a very thick vi uh, visor. The polycarbonate yeah. was a very thick material, much thicker than uh, the Arrows yeah. or the, the one they, of those. They were coated with the they were not they? And it never used to. And I never had a pin lock in, and it never used no. to steam up. But some of the helmets still have an anti-fog coated visor rather than a pin lock. Yeah? They still do. Because I find that what happens with the pin lock is sometimes it, it, it loses the seal yeah. and then you end up getting the moisture behind it anyway. You just, and then just it need to readjust it. But the other thing is, is on your helmet, if you've got a nose guard which fits between... Oh yeah. This one. Let's see if this one has. Oh. 
do it one handed. Like that. The nose yeah. guard. Yeah. Particularly when you wear glasses. <laughs> yeah. And when it's really cold like this in the mornings. And I'd, I, I'd take mine out in the summer. I completely forgot. I was out the other day in the cold and it, it steamed up my glasses and the, and the pin lock. Because right. I have the pin lock in all the time. It's easier. But putting that back in, it just directs. Maybe that's from the visor, away, then. yeah, it, pro it, pro it, it projects that from the from right, the vent okay. at you against that better, and you don't fog up anymore. Yeah, and it's, it's weird. You forget yeah. you've taken it out, put it back in, okay. and it's fine. It's so, fine, and it's yeah. been really cold and damp out here, so it does make a difference. And you know, some of those things we'll chuck the bits back in the box or in the bag and leave it leave it at home. I don't think yeah. about it, but yeah, yeah. just simple things like that. Yeah. The pin locks wear. Yeah. So you just take it out, clean it, tweak the camera a little bit, and reseat it. You do that by hand, can you? This, got, this one has a screwdriver. Oh, so he's okay. had a, a special hexagonal tool. What's that one now? This one is pop it out and turn it around. So you can see in there that the, 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 the fixing point is to one side. Yeah. So it's effectively a cam. So we're turning that around. Make the gap small. So if I was going to upgrade this, this helmet as a modular helmet with the sun visor, all the bits that I like in it, yeah. like the, the fact it's modular, the fact that it's got the sun visor which you can drop down. Yeah. What would I upgrade to? To the, the best? I'm thinking though. Why not? Either a Shoei or a Shoei for you. Right, okay. Um, so, what I wear. Right. That gives you the best of everything. Just stick it on the shelf. <laughs> so, exactly what you have there. I've got that there. What size do you normally wear? The medium. Uh, medium ish, I suppose, yeah. I think it's going to be a medium shelf. Go on then, let's try it. We'll see. Oh, they don't pass the lights, it? It's going to feel very different to... What oh, you know what's going to happen here, don't you? Yeah. Do it. Stop. Mm. So let's check it for size. Yeah. So once you're in and comfortable, it's actually slightly too big for you. Yeah, it probably is, yeah. If it, feel, if it feels about right now, it would probably be too... Yeah, but it's also sat right down on your eyebrows. Oh, right. So what I wear is a, a small and a half. Right. A medium with thicker lining to make it smaller. Yeah. That's, that's too big. It's too big, but it's... Yeah. Feels, I'll tell you what, the, that, that one that I've got, that K-Berg, when you have this lifted up, it feels like there's a big heavy thing in front of you. The weight is different. Whereas actually this one, it doesn't feel like it's trying to fall off. I know as you say it's a bit big, but it doesn't feel like it's trying to fall forwards when I've got it no. on. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that's a... That one naturally locks up, but this one clunk it. So right, okay. Uh, to be sold as one that you can ride with it up, it's it has the lock up. Yeah. Um, so you get the P&J regulation, so the protection helmet, yeah. like this jet helmet, like an open face one, it's like this. To pass as, as a jet, it has to lock up, so that in an emergency stop situation, it doesn't come down. Right. So if you look at something, Yeah. But this one doesn't lock in the other position. So right. technically you shouldn't ride with it open because in an emergency stop it could come down. Right, okay. And if it stops here, yeah. you, you can see nothing. nothing. So it's not safe. <laughs> Which is an emergency, you might be happy that you can't yeah. see that, isn't it? Hit anything oh, hard, yeah, yeah. the shock is through. Yeah. Polystyrene is a shock absorber. Yeah. Anyway. Absorbs the shock before it gets to the yeah. hard level. Over time, that hardens. Right. And even if it's never been worn, it still hardens. So just just the passage of time, just the time will so yeah. reduce the, more the, effect, it, the more it has so those tiny time. impacts and stiffness. That right. Okay. Yeah. But even just time. So a helmet that's eight years from manufacture and has never been out of the box should come in the skin. Right. Okay. So five years. So this isn't just five a marketing ploy. This is yeah. this is yeah. based yeah. on the, yeah. the so facts. The outer shell is, is still good. Yeah, yeah. With the fiberglass on the polycarbonate. Yeah, yeah. So the fiberglass shell is still good. Yeah. Yeah. The rougher, higher end stuff, natural shape here because your head's more round when it's oval. The, the bottom end is an oval shape, so it doesn't naturally fit you. Right. Right. Yeah. Because that the stormtrooper one, which is like that one, is yeah, uncomfortable. It it's really tight here. Yeah. As well, it's just yeah. Whereas the the, the other one is great, yeah. That's nearly worn out now because yeah. I used to wear it a lot. But then I got the shark. Yeah, eleven. Yeah. Then I got the shark, which is okay, but 
I'm not sure if it's probably it's, it's comfortable and if I think it fits but it, it's possibly a little bit looser than the you've got a Spartan GT yeah, yeah. yeah. it's too big for me yeah that's what it's comfortable yeah that's probably yeah because naturally that's quite an oval shape as well right so if it, if it doesn't push here on you then it's too big yeah this is like your bubble cap one but it's really it's a sport so it's designed to be ridden in this position because of the air bends in the air flow is here and the flow Aerodynamics, it's, it's designed to be ridden like this. As soon as you do this, it's kind of, it's not actually the, the best ventilation. It's probably quite noisy for your, uh, yeah. on your naked. Whereas 70, this hand, it's basically the same construction, so the inside, but it's designed to be ridden upright because the lighting is here. Yeah. And nice and light as well, isn't it? It's a car. Of course it is. <laughs> you just, you know, this is no, 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 we're, we're here now. <laughs> You've gone this far, let's... So I feel like a new version of your old home. Yeah. But it's designed to be ridden up, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, the, my next bike is probably going to be more touring anyway, so I'll probably wait until then, but how does the... Um, is it a lever on the side or the top? Oh yeah, boom. Oh yeah, yeah. fighter pilot. Boom. Very good. Just like that. Sunlight. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, it's nice. Cool. It's quite a smooth action actually. Yeah. But the one I find on the shark, it's on the top. There's a pain in the in the backside. So you're riding along, then you're like, yeah. where is it? Up there somewhere. Yeah. Visibility's a bit iffy. So 480 in a, in a carbon. I think, but like you say, the, sh the shape of the shark It's not really natural for you. It doesn't suit my fat head, no, basically my round head. It fits me because I'm yeah. narrower and, and longer, so oval head, as opposed to the top of your head being more round. Yeah, oh, so I did, yeah, I did, I did find that much, yeah. much more. So this sounds like a good argument for not buying helmets online. Don't <laughs> buy them online. <laughs> Come to somewhere like Helmet City. Somewhere yeah. like? Well, no, yeah. somewhere Whoever, like. Yeah, whichever yeah. part of your country you're in, <laughs> But go to a local store. Yeah. Get it. If you're local to here, come here. Obviously, because you get coffee. Well, I'm seriously considering the um, the jackets you know as well. I know they're like four or five hundred quid, but and it depends on which one. But yeah, the airbag systems are becoming more. Yeah, yeah, because because again, you know that that moment in which you're you need it. Because uh, I was yeah. talking to a um, was a you know, police police rider guy at one of these events and um, they, because they, they have to wear them now don't they as standard and, and obviously the worry is when you're tethered to the bike that oh, as soon as you accidentally get off it's going to go off you know yeah. so end up like Michelin man but apparently that's never going to happen because it senses the G-force or something but I don't know whether that's a premium version or yeah I mean the tethered versions were kind of the original and some of the cheapest that was tethered yeah. most of it's electronic so it's G-sensors so, right, no tethers, no tethers, fully electronic, monitors, so satellite link, it monitors, it's got a module that sits in here as a monitors, everything you're doing all the time. Blimey, that's that's like another level in it. It's motor GP. Right. Um, so it's, it's just constantly assessing what you're doing, and the moment that it senses the lean angle is wrong, or that you've decelerated very quickly. So this, so this module that goes in here is that that's obviously got this battery out. So I yeah. guess that's that's why it's detachable, is it? So yeah. yeah. Uh, take it off, charge it up. Charge it up. Yeah. It's really thin, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just waist cut, and then it's it all inflates all the way round. And like, what would something like that be setting you back? These are three eighty. Is that a, see that that I because because when they first came back. out, they were they were like yeah. So with this one. Um, you've also got a, a license fee to, to keep the monitoring. Oh, Alright, for the GPS element. Right. So it's about 10 pounds a month, but you can start or stop it. Right. When you want. Right. Um, or the Dynasy system, which is virtually the same, uh, a little bit more expensive to buy, but no ongoing fees. When you bought it, that's it, it's good for this thing. But it has the same tech in terms same of the GPS tech. element? Yep, it's all. Right. So basically, this sits inside your jacket. Yeah. 
Um, so your jacket takes the abrasion, and then when, when it's gone off, just take the canister out, reset it. I have visions of like a little foot pump. No, no, no. no. One of those like little, little things that you get a little... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we need some of that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was really good because, you know, he didn't know we were coming. No. Nope. But he was happy to chat to us and he had a lot of knowledge about his products. And um, it was just really enjoyable. You know, it's surprising because it's tucked away. It's, it's not somewhere that I've been before. Well, you're not, you're not going to come across it by accident, aren't you? Are yeah. you? No, I don't know. But, uh, you know, from, from what he was saying, he gets a lot of, a lot of footfall. He gets a, a lot of business there. And... Uh, Especially on a rainy day like today, although the, I'm not going to say the sun's come out because I think that would be a bit of a stretch. Um, it's a little bit brighter than it was earlier. That's, that's probably the best phrase, yeah. Shapes. I never realised you could adjust the pin locks like that. I have to go back and see if I can sort my pin lock out. Yeah, maybe that just needs adjustment. Yeah, but, maybe. Maybe I don't it, need to change it. But it was interesting that they had the, uh, you know, they, they, knew, they knew their stuff when it came to sizing and head shape. Like he knew I had a fat head, you know. It's, just, <laughs> it's pretty, although that's obvious, I guess. Um, well, I, th I think it does. I think it does reinforce the fact that you can't really buy a helmet online with confidence. You can buy a helmet online, but you're taking a bet on whether it's going to be right or not. Yeah, much better off going into somewhere like that that you could talk to people that, that know what they're know what they're talking about, try on some helmets, and. Uh, and basically get the right advice and get the right helmet because it's important like i say you don't want to go skidding off down the road and and the helmet not do its job well and the other thing is you could go online and spend three or four hundred pounds on a helmet and you might think that when you first put it on you sort of think yeah that's all right and of course you use it for a few weeks then you think actually i'm not really that happy with it and you can't send it back at that point no because you've used it yeah so uh... whereas i would have a lot of confidence going to see dean take his advice and I'd probably spend more on a helmet with him than I would online because I'd have the confidence that it would be right. Yeah. 